Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issue number 41 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partworks and we're going to be making the Wind Blown Square. The Wind Blown Square looks particularly tricky to make so I'm really going to read the guide very carefully first and take my time. To make the Wind Blown Square you'll receive Midnight Floral Fabric, the teal gingham, the pink floral and the ivory sprig. I'm not going to be using the ivory sprig. I think it looks a bit too wishy-washy and insipid so I'm going to be using another piece of the midnight floral that I had stashed away from a previous patch that I didn't use. The templates needed to make the windblown square can be found at the back of the magazine. I usually have photocopied these onto light card and then cut them out. I'm going to be continuing to use the previous templates that I've used for the other patches for this patch. You'll need template F, template G, Template I, which we used in the fair and square patch, and template D, which we've used in many of our squares so far. So our first step is to cut out our fabric. I'm going to start with the I template first and work my way across with the D, F and the G's last. So our template pieces have been cut out. Just a bit of a note that the fabric provided is quite small and if you make the tiniest mistake, you might not have enough fabric. It's time to lay our patch out in front of us. This one looks super tricky. I'm going to set up my machine, have a bit of a read and start stitching. So I've set up my machine, I've had a good read and they recommend that you sew these pink floral pieces onto our center midnight floral section first. I've also been studying this patch carefully as it's laid out in front of us and I'm thinking that if I stitch the teal gingham to this pink floral first creating a strip before we stitch it onto the midnight floral that could be a bit easier. Wish me luck, I'm going to get stuck into it now. Thank you. 
And after stitching, don't forget to press your seams. Now that I've stitched these strips in the centre together, I'm now going to stitch them to the centre piece. So it's some time later and I've managed to sew the centerpiece together. This would have to be the most difficult or one of the most difficult patches that I've made so far. It is looking very wonky donkey but I've managed to get it this far. Our next step is to sew our two corner triangles together. I'm going to sew each of the four Hairs together first and give them a good press. Our four corner pairs have been stitched together. I'm now going to give them their press. Well, 
we're on the home stretch. We're going to stitch these large corner triangles onto the edge of our central diamond piece. So our patches have been all sewn together. I'm now going to pack away the machine and give our square a final press. So here we have our finished windblown square. I found this square to be particularly difficult. It was really tricky. You can see that these, these points here are okay, but the two top joins are a bit dodgy. I'm still quite happy with how it turned out. As with all of the patches, this is the first time that I have attempted this. So when it's all sewn together, I don't think you'll notice these little inconsistencies. I hope you had success and didn't find the windblown square too tricky or challenging. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. I look forward to seeing you next time when we begin a really big applique square the Pigling Bland one. Until next time, see you then. Bye.